Welcome back everyone to Imperium Galactica. We're now closing in pretty well. We have knocked out Outer 6 and Outer 8. And by the time we were done with this, I actually didn't have enough bombs for another attack. But of course I was able to rebuild them as we journeyed across here to the right. And I think we lost 5 or 6 tanks, 1 rocket sled I believe on each of these planets. So we're able to hold down the losses a fair bit. I'm not seeing as many of the light tanks anymore in general. It seems that they're not able to quite replace the numbers, although they do have quite a bit of the higher end tanks, of course, still available on their planets. But it feels like I'm starting to have an economic impact on them. Now, the Darkslen in total are now at, as we can see here, they're at six planets. Only four of them are core planets at this stage. They still have Outer 30 over here, and they also just took, recently, Outer 2, which is actually giving me something to do with that second fleet, the literal second fiddle here, because they're waiting until a point where we have tanks available to them, and then they can just go smash this. And that way I don't have to move my main fleet all the way back over there. Now, in terms of our military buildup, that is worth considering as well, because I discovered I hit another limit of the game. So if we look at what we have in here, normally, you know, you divide up your importance, and we have the amount of replacement equipment that we need for the next battle, so we're just adding more in advance of when it's needed. But if you look at the total here, if we actually just eliminate all but one category, it can't use the full amount. Apparently 60,000 is the maximum. It'll use the full amount if I split them up a little bit more. But for some reason, 60 planets can coordinate across immense distances of space and, you know, build the same unit. But 61? Nope, that's a bridge too far. Or a planet too far, as it were. So that's kind of interesting. In any case, Outer 11 is indeed our next target. And it's time to start plowing through the rest of these. We're still at a point where just Outer 12 and Outer 10 have the three fortresses. Outer 11 unfortunately is a very hard plant to fight on. If we try to go along the bottom, we're gonna get shot at by the fortresses directly. And then the top really doesn't work. Right side, you know, it's, the left side, again, on the sides, we can't get as much depth, which is gonna hurt us, but what's the alternative here? So. Just a lot crammed into a small planet, and we're going to have to make the best of it that we can. Both fortresses, of course, being right next to each other. That is not going to help us either. Now, see, they don't have any light tanks here either. They're all heavies. Bunch of the auto repairs, more than we've seen before in general. And it feels like they have a slightly higher proportion of the heavy rocket sleds as well. So... Again, you know, painful battle going on here. I am going to move a couple of my tanks around here. But you can see they're just, they're so concentrated up in that middle area. And there's only so many tanks that we can get there. So I want to try to keep moving where I can. But... Let's just go ahead and have you two take on this one. You see, they're just tearing holes in our line, and and part of this, oh, there goes the, there goes the power plant. Part of this is just, you know, them having a more fearsome composition of forces, but part of it is also just the spacing. So neither one of those two things doing us any favors here. Hey, yeah, you can run away all you want. That'll let us, you know, knock through more of your your other tanks. And now they're crumbling. Okay. That's part one. Part two, we have to deal with these two fortresses clustered together, and we don't... We can't really sneak down around the bottom, so it's going to take some careful maneuvering up this way to get into a vaguely decent position. Now, you might think that having a building like this down would make an easier approach, but it actually doesn't. Even with it destroyed, I can't actually use this area for the rest of the battle. You can see I can try to move in here all I want, but it's just going to move around the edge. 
So that doesn't really accomplish anything. Now I was able to sneak around this way. We have a few that are going to approach this. Even got down here. They're going to approach up this way. So that should help us you know, get in here some. But I actually want to attack both fortresses at once. Just get as many tanks in. And that's going to you know, cause some casualties. But it's going to be better than the alternative of just hitting from one side or the other. So let's let's get a move on. And of course, let's move you to up to the entrance. As before, I'm gonna have the first one charge in as far as it can. And the others just sort of hang out. Now over here, we should be able to do a little bit better. Because I think we can fire before we get into this narrow street area. So that should be beneficial. And then you're going to come up this way. I'll send one of you up this way. And then you can fill in behind here. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Nope, you come up here. And you're going the wrong way, so you turn around. I like the way we're progressing forward. Let's make sure you get in there. You as well. Yep, we need you to need you to get up here. Okay, some of these need to come in here as well. All right, now you need to follow up. I feel like I should be able to move you up a little further than that. You're taking shots back there, that's fine. Alright, let's get you in here. And you. Everybody attack now. Going pretty well in terms of getting everybody in here. You don't I don't think you're attacking them. Fire. There we go. And you are unfortunately attacking the weapons factory, so that's a bit of an error. Now let's clean this up. Everybody here. Attack. And you as well. Okay, definitely gonna be a costly victory. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, 18 tanks. Basically half of our tanks didn't lose any of the heavy rocket slides. Definitely gonna be a bit before we can reconstitute our attack and about Again, only about 25, 26 tanks on their side, but they were definitely of the more strenuous side. You can see nothing but heavies and special. They didn't even have any mediums. It was all heavy, dangerous opponents. A couple days further on, it is January 25th now, and a couple more planets down here. The Darkland down to just three left, so we're really narrowing it down. Outer 12 is next, and that's our first rougher customer with three of the fortresses. Now, Outer 14 was pretty similar to Outer 11. We had to start from the side again, 
and heavy resistance, no light tanks again, but a lot of their rockets were slamming into buildings in the early part of the fight, and that really helped us reduce our casualties. A power plant and a weapons factory uh, went down during that fight. But we only took nine tanks losses. Another reason for that is the fortresses were spread apart, not bunched together. So they ended up working up a little bit better. And then Outer 13, of course, was a pushover. They had a shield, but just fusion projectors, no misons. We didn't take any losses there and just used some bombs. We were able to catch up some in our production. So where we're at now is we have enough bombs to reload. We have enough rocket sleds to reload. We do not have enough behemoths to reload. We're at about three quarters on those, but that's not bad. I mean, the only way we would have to wait here is if we had a total wipe, which I do not expect to have happen. Although we'll see, because again, you know, three fortresses, that's going to be a little bit harder. Okay, so the good news is we've got our preferred location towards, you know, the top bottom of the screen, and it's open to approach from all sides of the map. The bad news is, is it's open to approach from all sides of the map. Now, I put them over here because they'll have to work around this, and hopefully they'll get shuffled in here and not flank. But the fortresses are up here. A little bit of damage to each, not a lot. There was a Misan projector over here that we destroyed, so at least a little bit of approach there, although that's not going to help us a great deal. And the three fortresses, of course, are close enough together that we'll want to hit it from one end or the other. I'm not really sure which way I'm going to want to do that, but you know, the other will always be fighting two at once. I won't be able to split it up one at a time. may even want to try to take all three and swarm them. I don't know. It depends on what we have left. So let's see how this goes and what they've brought to the fight in one of only two planets with three fortresses. Okay. Heavies. There are some mediums. Okay, that's good. Um, we've got some auto repairs. Not a lot of heavy rocket sleds. A good amount of regular rocket sleds. I'm not too discouraged by this. I think their overall force here, I mean, they're going to be able to hit us all at once, but it's not its not terrifying in terms of quality. I don't think it's quite as high as some of the other planets. But, of course, numbers, they may be a little bit higher here. Okay, I feel like we want to move forward just a bit on this side. Not so much over here. Over here everybody's going to be engaged. Maybe you move forward this way to protect that a little bit. Okay. Let's, let's move a few of you up and go after, here, let me do it this way. Let's have all of you go this way. And then you move up just a little bit. But I feel like we're going to want to gradually roll this over to the left as quickly as we can. I think they're hitting us harder over here. Yeah, let's move you forward. You as well. I yeah, just lost uh, a rocket sled over here. Okay, let's push you forward. I don't know that there's a whole lot I can do over here other than just try to hold our ground. Definitely all of you get moving. You as well. And we're caving over here, but we're doing well on this side. I think I just want to keep pushing more tanks in over here. Whoops. There we go. 
Yeah. Okay, let's have just a few of those go here. You're about dead. So let's withdraw you. Maybe slide these over a little bit so they can participate a little more. And then let's get all of you right over here. Maybe hit that one next. And then you. Yeah, our left is caving. But there isn't much left of them. And that's the last one. Okay. Imperfect, but, you know, given what we were facing there, that's not too bad. All right, let's reorganize and get set for the fun of the fortresses. Okay, we are scattered about for what I think is going to be the roughest assault I've yet done. I've decided I want to hit all three of them at once, divide up their fire. I think that's the best choice, but I'm involving everybody this time. I'm not holding anybody back. I've got, you know, a group here that's going to charge up this way. These are gonna swing around here, you know, another group here, another group here, here. Even the rocket sleds are involved coming through this way. We are going to just, this is gonna be brutal, but it's also gonna be necessary. And I think that, I ex whoops, hold on. Let's get everybody going. I expect to win. I do not expect most of my vehicles though will survive the attempt. So we're just going to take this as it comes. And make sure, as always, that everybody is going to bunch up. You know, and then follow in as closely as we are able to do. You'll be the lead vehicle over here. So we've roughly got five to six, you know, coming in on each possible approach. The rest of you come over here. Except for only three coming on this one. This is really the only exception. Four up here. But they're kind of going to blend together in this area. So that's kind of why I'm doing it that way. Okay, let's do this. That's going well. This is coming well. Just want to be cautious here and make sure everything is going the way it's supposed to. Okay, some of you need to hop up here. I mean, we've already lost four rocket sleds. We're about to lose a lot more. And here we go. First shots. Yeah, you're, you're needing to be heading more off this way. They're firing here. Let's, let's bring some of you in a little more. Maybe you can pop over this way. So you seem to have stalled. I don't know why you're doing that. Get over here. Okay, let's bring in... You're coming in. You're probably close enough. Start attacking. I think the two of you are as well. Yeah, you've sort of gotten lost over here, haven't you? Get in here. You're going to need to be over this way because you need a clear line of sight. Alright, you should be directing now. As should you and you. All of you get in there further. You're still not coming up this path. 
And it's annoying me. I need some of you to fill in now and... Okay, you can really come up this way now. So we're not really getting any punishment in on them yet, but boy, you are just not wanting to fill this 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 aisle here. Coming in good that way. Starting to come in this way. We're starting to get some hits on all of them except for this one. I need you to push up here. They're finally getting up this way the way I wanted to. And you're still not attacking. Why is that? There we go. Now you're coming in. I don't know why you're turning around. Just go attack. Oh, you're not turning around. Okay, you're doing what you're supposed to be. Let's check out some of these other ones. Bring you in. You're definitely headed the wrong way. You're actually alive even though we have almost no you know hits left let's just have all of you charge so this one is taking some hits this one's taking some hits this one's starting to a little once we get some of these down below there okay it's just not working so you you can come through this way Yeah, this one is almost down to half. So we're being much more successful in this direction. Now it is down to half. Let's keep up the pressure. You appear to be angled the wrong way. Yep, now you're dead, so it doesn't matter. And you are still hung up. This one is almost down now. Actually, let's have the three of you just try to move up this way towards this fortress. This one's over half. This one's almost half. Boy, we have just gotten massacred up on this side, but... The rest of this is going pretty well. Okay. All of you are down. You're going to run into each other and everything else, but you come over this way. Bingo. Now everybody concentrates on that. Do whatever you have to do to get in range of it. A 
blow it to pieces. Oh yeah, we got this. That was an adventure. And some people have talked about the pathfinding. You know, in most of the battles, it doesn't bother me. But when you get to these kinds of battles where you're trying to coordinate like that, it's just a mess. It's just an absolute mess. Okay. So we lost 23 of 37 and 8 of 10. So we have, you know, really those missile launchers get torn apart by the fortresses if they have a chance to shoot at them. But I just feel like I had to throw everything in it there. So we're going to have to rebuild everything, but we should have just enough to put out a full set, which is where I want to be. So we only have this left now, essentially the Dargsland capital slash homeworld in this galaxy, and Outer 2. What I'm going to do is throw my tanks in here, have them take Outer 2. And here I may or may not have to actually have a backup group ready because they are going to have significantly more tanks in here i'm probably going to want to have i probably actually lose this battle once it's probably the only end game battle that i lose and then also when i get to outer tip i am going to show the whole battle beginning to end with no cuts because look it's the final one let's just do that when we get to that point it's also going to be you know the end of the game we'll see what the game does at that point and I'm also going to do a sort of non-canon demonstration of how we would actually fight the Dargsland fleets if we had actually bothered to do that. So that's going to be sort of a separate timeline thing. But till we get to that, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And we're almost home. The Dargsland will be defeated soon.